Hello and welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to Beware. We've had some fantastic uh, responses, some very difficult questions that also came our direction, you know, on the, on the how to be ready to apply for credit and then how to submit a really good credit application. So if you've missed the first yes. two installments, please go check out those videos. So to be aware, what I'm really interested about today is, you know, you are going to tell us how a, a financial institution actually look at us when we apply for credit. Yes. So thank you so much again for joining us today. And please tell us what is it that, we, that you look at? Oh, well, thank you, Elmerie, for the opportunity again. Uh, good day to all our um, um, listeners, uh, even viewers. Thank you for making time to be able to listen to what we have to offer. So the, um, the important thing when it comes to credit, uh, we have we spoke about how to apply for credit at the, one of the institutions or how to submit a good credit application. And then what we're dealing with now, we're dealing with the back end of things. The back end, I mean that I'm speaking about what happens when we receive your motivation, when we receive your application. This is what uh, the people that deal in the credit department, they, they look at. So we, they look at what we call the five C's. So the five C's of credit are to gauge the credit worthiness of the business. So what we mean by that is that we believe that we can't just give or borrow or lend money uh, just recklessly because we are being governed uh, and regulated by the NCA and the NCR. So what, what, they, what it basically entails is that we must make sure that we, we borrow credit or we give out credit responsibly. So these are the five C's that we're going to look at. So the first C is character. The second is capacity. The third is capital. The fourth is collateral. And the fifth is conditions. I'm going to start with the first one, character. What do I mean when, we, when I say character? So mostly character, char, char, character is reflected by your credit history. But what does it have to do with credit history? If we know when we talk about character, we're talking about things like trustworthiness. We're talking about things like honesty. We're talking about things like responsibility. You know, We're talking about things about... Um, 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 also your intent, it has to do with your character, you know. So how, you, how your character is or how you portray your character, who you are is what you will, all, who you are inside is what you will always portray on the outside. I'm going to make an example. As a person on your personal profile, credit profile, if you don't honor the, the agreements that you made from a personal perspective let's say you've got a cell phone contract at one of the big cell phone companies the agreement was that they will they will deduct on the 31st of every month and it happens that after just getting paid you deduct all your money and they don't get anything so every debit order that goes off your account doesn't get money so that means that it has to do with your character uh, because that you are not being honest you are not being responsible or accountable. So we look at that thing. So we look, we go into your account and how you have been managing your account on your bank account. And we look also on your, what we call your credit history. There are different institutions that we use like Experion, you know, those are one of the institutions that we use to check your credit profile. That's a character. And then the capacity, it's your ability to pay the loan by looking at your income to debt ratio. What does it mean? So your capacity is that we can never borrow you more than what you can afford. It's, that's what it basically means. What, what you are applying for as a business, can you really afford to pay it back um, as per how you say you'll pay it back? So we look at that. Do you have the capacity to be able to pay the loan or the banking facility back? Those are what, that is one of the things that we also look at. And the third one, the capital. How much money do you have? When you look at your, your financial statement, one of the key things, you look, we call it owner's equity. As, a, as an owner, you know, as an owner, what have you invested in this company? 
because the more you invest or the more you have invested, it shows how serious you are to, to make sure that this business gets off the ground. So we look at the cap, you might be seeking a certain, let's say, just make an example. You want to, you, you saw a commercial property in one of the buildings in town and you want to buy it. And then what we look at, okay, the building costs 3 million, but are you going to apply for 3 million from us as the bank? Or are you going to apply for, let's say, 2.5 million? And then the rest, you will also invest the other five, five, 500,000 you will also take out of your own pocket or out of the business. We look at those kind of aspects that how much have you put in? How much, do, how much do you believe in this venture? Do you think that it will work? How much have you put in? So we also base our decision on that, that how serious are you? And then the fourth one is collateral. I think this is one of the most important one also. Correct, collateral means but. What do you have as an asset to be offered as security on the loan? It also almost like goes back to the capital part. Sometimes you might have not have the, the, the physical capital, but you say, no, I've got a house that I'm going to put in as collateral that should this venture not take off the ground or should it not succeed, I will seat what I call, I will seat my property. Property can come in, in a form of a house, in a form of a car. But so what other people can do, um, I would say, I would rather call people who are very strategic, who know what they're doing. People who normally sometimes see their life policies. You understand? If they have a, what we call a surrender value or a surrender uh, ability in it. So you surrender so that you will not lose your house or your car or anything, but you will rather seed your life policy. And then the last one, but not least, we look at the conditions. What does it mean? Um, what is the purpose of the loan and how much and what interest, uh, how much and at what interest rate? So we look at the different aspects, you know, the loan that you need, do you really, like, do you, do you really need the, the, the finances that you are looking for at the bank and what is the purpose thereof is the purpose uh, um, really justifiable uh, for, for, for for what you need you understand we look at different conditions so so it's just that I don't have anything out of my head to think of at the moment but does it make sense what you are applying for the finances the, the financing that you are applying for does it really justify the need? So those, that, that is what we're looking for. And also how much and what at, at what interest rate. So we look at different aspects because sometimes you, 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 you might, they might say that you do qualify for the loan. But the challenge is we might give you at a higher interest rate because of, 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 of the way you manage your credit profile. So because you are too much of a risky client for us to give money to, so we rather give it a higher interest rate. So that higher interest rate can serve two purposes. It's either it's a way to wade you off to say, no, this interest is too much, I won't be able to afford it. But if probably you are really serious, you can still go for it, but we, we penalize you almost because of the way you've been managing your total credit profile. And those are, the def those are the conditions that we look at. So it is not only restricted to what I've mentioned, the purpose of the loan and the interest rate. There are different conditions that we also look at. But these are just because of time, what, I've just, what I was just able to mention. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Sapiwe. This was really three of the most worthwhile uh, sessions I've done in a long time. I think this will clarify a lot of the mystery around applying for credit. The other thing that really yes. came out of this for me, it is, is not just your finance, your business finances, but also your own finances, you know, and that if as a business Definitely. owner, you should be really serious about how you look after your personal finances as well as your business finances. Yes. So thank you so much for your Definitely. time. I really appreciate it. And I, uh, I'll look for opportunities to tap your brain. And as we get more questions in, maybe we can do a, a Q&A where I'll contact you and I'll ask you some of the questions and you can answer them for us, yeah. for the audience. No, uh, I'm, 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 I'm available. Thank you very much, Sipiwe. Have a fantastic day. Thank you.